All right, so here is a 2021 Jaguar XF P300 R Dynamic SE, all wheel drive, 296 horsepower, 295 pound feet of torque. It's got the new uh, double J blades, LEDs, this non-functional, just cosmetic. Here we got the new grill here, 3D surround. This one has the adaptive cruise control, which is right here. This has the black exterior pack here, so everything is actually gloss black. And then we have these wheels, satin black with gloss black inserts. 20 inch wheels, looks pretty good. Then we got the leaper right here on the side. We have the updated brake lights right here, which look pretty good. P300 all wheel drive. Uh, no exhaust tips, they're actually kind of hidden below. Just a diffuser to look at. Door handles are the same. If we look in here, it has the Mars red interior. Meridian sound. Of course we have these new buttons now. Here's the interior. This is a Mars red. Let me know what you guys think. It's not actually that bright. On the camera it actually looks a lot more bright. And of course we have the new steering wheel. Just a little controversial. New shifter. And of course the 11.4 inch display right here. Which I think looks pretty decent actually. It's kind of growing on me now, the more that I see it. And then we have this virtual display right here. Also wanted to show you guys the second row. For if you have, you know, friends or family sitting in here. That's with the seat all the way back. And this is with the seat for about a five foot eight person. So you have, you know, a decent amount. Rear fans and then a just 12 volts, but you can get more options for that. Doesn't feel that bad. Let me see what's in here. Same, same, I assume. Yep. Cup holders. This is a uh, 6040, it looks like. No, actually, that's a pass through. See right here? Oop. Seats fold down too. So, not bad. Now let's go check out the trunk. It's a power tailgate too. So, if you look under here. Those two yellow tabs will actually release the seats, but then you still have to go up front. This is a, huh, I guess you just attach something to it. It's only for five kilos of weight. That's new. And then this is the, the trunk. So not bad. I'm gonna clear out some of this stuff. Those are just the carpet mats in here, front license plate. Let's pull out what's under here. All right, so we just got the little spare jack accessories and then just electronics way up there. It is like indented now, like it's raised, so if you can see that. I'm not too sure why they did that. And then we got the, the uh, Little emergency release, just in case you're trying to lock people up in the trunk. You cannot do that, because they'll get out. This car just got PDI'd, so I went through our service shop to go through the pre-delivery inspection. I'm actually just going to put some fuel in it, and then do a, like a little road test for about 10 miles. They typically put on about 10 miles driving around on the freeway just to ensure everything's functioning before we put it on the front line for sale. But right now, this thing only has about 11 miles on it. I'm gonna just put on about 10 miles, driving it around on the highway. That way I can get a kind of a good sense too on how this the new 2021 XF drives. So this is Jags. They've kind of simplified the trim levels. There's not as many trim levels. They're also kind of kicking out most of these sedans. There's no more XEs. Um, these windows this is kind of like their I guess flagship car until the 
the new Electro platform comes out, whenever that is. So this is gonna be their, primarily their only sedan. Midsize sedan, the XF is a, basically the equivalent to like a five series or an E-Class. All right, we're, so we are back. Car is all fueled up. It's about 18 and a half gallons to fill up. Here's the steering wheel. I know some of you guys have been hating on the steering wheel. Um, I don't know. I think it looks a little better than the previous gen. We got pretty uh, heavy duty paddle shifters if you want to use them. Startup, same as the uh, like the Velar and the F Pace, pretty much. This is just in the XF design here. All right, first thing we're gonna do is crank this thing down to not 80. All right, so we are driving in comfort mode right now. I'm gonna just drive around in this mode for a little while to see what it feels like. This actually has the brake hold. So it's actually holding me in place right now until I press on the gas pedal. And I'll over to zoom, so that's kind of cool. Brake hold's kind of nice. So like right now, foot's off the brake. See that? Ooh. But we're still in place. It's a nice, nice feature, that way you're not sitting on the brake the whole time while you're at a light. Cabin's pretty nice. Here is the roof. You guys can see that. Um, we do have some new speakers up here, right there. I don't know what that is. I think it's part of the uh, the Bluetooth housing. Corners pretty well. Good acceleration. I'm kind of just interested to hear the roar noises. So the previous Gen ones were kind of rather noisy. The 17 through the uh, 20s were decently noisy. So it'd be interesting to see how this one compares. Now we are on 20-inch uh, wheels right now. But right now it feels pretty good. It's pretty quiet. So pop this switch up. That button is just for the drive modes. And what we do is we're gonna rotate this over until we hit dynamic mode. And then it'll confirm right here. So the only way you can see what drive mode you're going is by rotating it right there. So now we are in dynamic mode. So the steering, the suspension dampers, acceleration, all that stuff is going to be pushed into dynamic mode. All we have here is just the all surface information. So this is just showing where the power is going. So for instance, right here, we just have all the power going to the back right now because there's no uh, surface is dry, there's no reason for it to send power up to the front. And there's no like loss of traction or anything on the front. So I am accelerating right there. So it kind of just depends on what you're doing. Like if you're accelerating and everything, I think it needs power to the front. So like let's just say I pressed on, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Let's just say you press down on the gas pedal really fast and you need the acceleration. It's actually sending power to the front now a little bit. Okay, so information is only available when, when uh, stationary. We've got dynamic, comfort, eco, and then the rain, ice, snow program. Actually, it feels the car feels really good in dynamic mode. It feels pretty planted. Visibility is pretty decent. We've got blind spot control to help for the blind spots, but there's some pretty good visibility between the, the B and the C pillars. There's actually even a small window between the what C and the D pillar, I guess. Is that what that is? If we look right here, that's the C and the D pillar. There's the old 
overall visibility to cost you about $54,000 as spec for this vehicle. I think the tech is an upgrade from the previous X models for sure. This one I think is pretty good, straightforward. Um, at first I didn't like this design with the, the display. When you first, I think when you first look at it, it looks kind of annoying and it looks out of place. But once you kind of sit into it and get used to the controls and everything, I don't think it actually looks that bad. All the, all the cars nowadays are shifting towards technology and everything. So, hey, if the, you know, the interface works, the navigation, music, all that kind of stuff works, then it's just going to boil down to a, a preference. Cooled seats. These dials work pretty well. Give you guys a little uh, little POV action here. The cooled seats work pretty well, actually. Work really fast. You can already feel the cold air. All right, so here's the 360 camera right there. Backup camera. The hill hold that or the hill hold brake hold works pretty well actually. Just did it right there too. Very clear. So overall, definitely I would consider this an upgrade from the the previous Gen XF in terms of the the tech and drivability too. It just it feels like a lot more of a smoother ride which is nice and then once again they did make it easier for the consumer by lowering the amount of the trim levels and everything because it was getting pretty crazy with how many different trim levels they had let me know what you guys think towards the the new 2021 xf model I mean, it's a lot of vehicle for this kind of a market segment because they get pretty crazy up on the other brands but this is just a kind of like a no frills just not overall nice mid-size um, sedan that we have for sale now. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to drop a comment down below. Please uh, like this video if you guys like the video. And then I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying all the content that I'm putting out. And I look forward to see you guys in the next video.